Porch Wine Unboxes, the Exemplar Premier with pellet system. Uh, but in the end, there's wine. And here we are unboxing more tabletop stuff. Now we have my precious container and also pellet and also wood pellet. Now I'll have to test it to see if I actually want a wood pellet because my paint seems to work fine without even being thinned. So, and my paint, by the way, are Kamiya. This is the fresh uh, conditioning fluid I've been meaning to unbox for a while now, but uh, it, uh, yeah, it's by Tommy. I, my uh, my Tommy paints are next to me and I don't want to give out right now. Just to sh demonstrate. But um, yeah, so uh, this was around $100, uh, around $150 shipped. This was the ultimate palette package it came it basically came with everything they were making for the wet palette and some of the stuff they were making beforehand there uh they also have some natural brushes actually these are nylon brushes they're halfway between pure synthetics and that well they are nylon synthetic but uh they're halfway between your typical synthetic brushes and actual uh good nice uh natural brushes so they should suit me for the moment. Also, a little holding thing. The whole, the whole miniatures. I like this one actually more than anything else, more than any other ones, because it has a nice little thing, so you don't have to touch the miniature at all if you want to hold it oddly. oddly. Some random extra bits. Oh, oh, oh that, that's actually, that's actually a poster tack. Okay, I was wondering how you were supposed to do that in the little caps, which does question me why do you want why do you need to buy caps that are exactly the same as any cap you get on solar drink or or soft drink or any other kind of a bottled water maybe you probably don't want bottled water they, they, they they're really cheaply made now, now and have been for years but anyway little cork things for you to attach to uh, for you to attach to your things so you can actually paint little things basically you have basically you take and you're not pictured here. Um, a little wire thing, either just a nice little tiny gauge wire or a um, or a paper clip. Stick one in and then, and then stick another with some little poster tack into your into whatever tiny bit you want to actually make with for building an assembly. And yeah, also we got a nice little. Brush holder, which I like. I thought it was gonna be smaller than that. I, I know, it's just the brushes are tiny. Okay, sure. Uh, this is gigantic, but yeah, this is like a nice little rinsing cup if you don't want to get your main water dirty. Which actually, I think I will use this stop. I think I will get water in this, and then have my rinsing cup because it has a nice little it has a nice little spring in the bottom that you can clean off. And have this be the clean water cup. Use the two bucket, two bucket method. Hot rinse cup by giving me. And then just some extra goodies. Don't know what this thing is. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a um, sample of their sponge or just to keep everything in line. Uh, it's probably just a sample. Yeah, it's totally just a sample. And then we got some good good stuff here. Actually, 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 let me grab that real quick. Uh, actually. And refill pack, that's not a lot. But that's what this says. Uh, thank you for waiting. Get a 40% off your exemplar palette refill pack at GameMovie.net. Okay. That's not a whole lot. Let me just put this somewhere where you can't see it. I might have already spoiled already. I might have to cut that bit out. Yeah, that's way easier than just censoring it. Yeah, I have a feeling this is actually a sponge tester. Like a nice all material, just nice to military so you can see more so you can see how the sponges are. And then you got a bunch of nice little goodies from the campaign.
like this is actually pretty awesome. This is a nice little card thing. And then this too. It has to be unboxed something. Like a little sticker. Well, you can see the light, jeez. You see light in the footage. Then that is gaming thing. Where to go to get this stuff? For right now, at least. Another sticker that's the same as the pen. These are one dollars at gamingv.net, by the way, in case you want one. Oh, this is a, oh, oh, I know, I know what these are. Yeah, these are anti-mold. I think these are anti-mold. I think that's what these are. These are anti-mold. Let's put in here. But anyway. Might as well put them all back. Uh, might as well keep them out and open. Uh, yeah, might as well put them all back. There we go. Next up, let's do the rinse out cup because why not? Our, okay, these are kind of reusable bags. Oh, this is really nice. This is indeed really nice. Some issues. We exploded. There we go. Yeah, these are these are where the molds are filled, and uh, they, they don't look too bad. Yeah. And then another room where the mold where it's cut off the sprue from. And a nice little cup just to mount your brushes. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Yeah, uh, they forgot about this bit. This these little burrs, but that's fine. That's not too bad. Oh, that's dirty. Even even on even on the random plastic, which uh, might as well keep over here for right now. Even on the random plastic is actually pretty sturdy. Wow. Um, I guess next is uh, I'll do one. I do you last. Uh. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I mean these are just caps. <laughs> they even have a spiral. For you to put on something. I, I mean, I, and then these are corks, which you're supposed to mount like this, and you put the stick the things in. Oops, sorry, I was eating something. I was eating chocolate, but anyway. Okay, so that, that's that. And there's five caps and two little oh, two little cork things. I I might use the cork things. I I might use the cork things. I don't need the tart. I don't need a poster tack, and I don't and I don't want to. And I, why would, why would, why don't you just, if, like the thing about using, ca uh, the thing about using caps and, uh, when doing miniature stuff is because they're disposable because they were disposable anyway. Those aren't disposable. They might be good for holding extra paint in. Um, they might just be good for holding paint, uh, separately to your wet palette. Like holding specialized paint like washes and whatever. But, uh, or, me or metallics or whatever, hate, or, or anything that hate. The hate being on wet pallets, so that's what it'd be good for. But then you also got a dry. You, also, if you had optioned it, you got you could also you would also have a dry pallet too. Uh, and then these are uh, sponges and and paper. You can always use. You can always use it just plain parchment paper. 
which since I'm going to do barbecue anyway, so I'm, I will have tons of that. So I'll just use bar, uh, parchment paper and only upgrade this and only get more sponges if I need to. It does come with two sponges. Just gonna leave that in there. Okay, let me pop that back. Oh, that, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. I like that. Let's see our little miniature holder, which some people say unnecessary. You could just use a, a just use anything, really, anything in this shape. But I, I want I wanted to try it for myself, just like the wet, just like the wet palette. Uh, I might not use the wet palette as intended purposes as a wet palette. I might just use it as a dry palette holder. Because uh, a dry a dry like a dry palette holder. And that'll be it. But anyway. Okay, and then you screw. Oh, you. Oh, I see. I I see. These aren't just any random caps, which make absolutely no sense for them to sell you. What these are? Take you out. You can have cork things. Pop the cork in there, and then you pop this in here. Out of the world. Yeah, go pop that in there. You got a little spinny thing with a cork where you can have your random little bits. Pop. Or you can uh, poster tack the blue poster tack is on there, or just any blue poster tack, uh, and just uh, slam it, uh, slam your model on there, then screw that on. There you go. And they'll hold it while you paint it. And nice thing about this, you can hold it like that, which will be insane, which is insanely nice. Although technically, you just do it like this. But if you really need to hold it oddly, like that or like that, I think I think this little pin is nice. And here's a spare question mark. Why do we need a spare? But you know, there's a spare in case you need a spare. Might as well leave that cap on there. So yeah, I mean, like, the issue I have, I, I, I guess it's no longer an issue because I got tons of Battletech, Battletech mechs, and tons of people for, uh, for, uh, the Trium, the, the Universal Tabletop Wargame RPG I'm working, Wargame Sass RPG I'm working on, and just other, th and just other, other little normal miniatures now. I don't just have tanks, and ships, and, and planes and whatnot. It's actually not bad. I mean, this thing about gaming, they're not the most expensive in the world, but, like, again, like, what? <laughs> they're not the most expensive in the world, you know, they're saying premium. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll do last, if at all, this video. I mean, they're just brushes. I mean, I guess it, I guess it'd be a good idea for me to actually play with the brushes. Let's open it. Is this a bag? Yes, it is. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those, maybe. Maybe it's a bag, maybe it's not. Oh, no, go right. And then we... Oh, uh, this is a bit too easy to undo. I mean, people always complain about these... about these being hard to undo, but uh, I, ne I have literally never seen one be this easy to undo. They just pull your thing finger through. But then again, then again, let's be honest, this isn't meant to be on a store shelf, I don't think, so it's fine. Oh, they're just nice little thin blue things, okay. Yeah, I keep that over here. And of course, we must test to see how it feels, how the tip feels. Oh, oh, that's actually really nice. It's really... Uh, which one are you? You're three. I <laughs> got my extra wires, which don't need to be there. Uh, put them underneath that for right now. Uh, let's get another three. Do I even use three? That's a two. And different companies use different systems, so don't expect them to be anywhere near next to anywhere near each other in terms of uh, relevance. That's a good question. Do I use three at all? That's a two. I use two a lot, apparently. Six. Four. Zero. One. I do like these, though. 
how about let's get one how about let's get one that we can actually use so what 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 are the numbers are going by five, uh, five, a half a part. okay five plus one I don't know what that's exactly trying to say double lot triple lot oh geez that's a triple lot one Whatever you say, game! Are you sure you're a three, not a two? Do we even have a three of these? Do we even have a two of these? Okay, I'm saying this is a half. This is a one. This is a, this is a triple lot, that's a double lot. There's no zero either. The heck? Okay, I, I guess... I, I, I guess these are like the most popular ones that I don't know about. Okay, sure. Uh, do I have any of these over here? Go, I should have at least one. At least one. A uh, zero. No, these, there is no zero. There's only double lot, triple lot, which what well, that means. Oh, whoops, that's failed. Double lot, triple lot. Oh, here's a three. Here's a, I do use a three. Yeah, um, I, I say that a bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna say that a bit different. Just a tiny, a tiny little squidge different. Yeah, this is number three by Tom, yeah? It's a modeling brush on their line. And it has a wide, nice head. This one doesn't, it's a nice tip. They are almost the same size. Okay, I'm noticing a difference. This is just straight, this is just a tube. The Tommy is just a tube, whereas the Whereas the Phalanx, the Game Envy, is more like is more like my Golden Maples. These are smaller Tamiya. The Tamiya makes extremely straight uh, brushes, which is fine. They can be whatever they want. Uh, and they make them all in one size. Okay, that's. Two. Actually, it's closer to my four I have out already. I mean, I probably have one of, I probably have a three around here somewhere of a glow maple, maple. So you guys stay, uh, guys stay tuned to the Zero Triple Line Hobby Series for me to actually get a, uh, uh, for me to get that out. But anyway, this is all wonky. Yeah, much thinner. Although if you look at the tip, it's actually the size, their size, uh, Game Envy size three is about the same size as the Gold Maple. Is about the same size as the Gold Maple size four. Intriguing. Although let, let's do it. let's try a little test because um, you're meant to brush the cup. That's actually pretty satisfying. That is indeed pretty satisfying. But th but this cannot be beat. Just this triangle thing cannot be beat. Yeah, this is less stiff, which I prefer, uh, and very soft. Then we got my favorite of the Tamias. This is very soft, but it's also a different shape, so it's cheating. It's a no good che dirty cheater being in this comparison. Uh, Where is my other Tamias? Yeah, yeah. Uh, think about like, oh, that's solid. Whoops, that kind of seized. Um, but anyway, I try to clean these things, but uh, that's why I got a fresh conditioning fluid because you need that. But anyway, and then this one's all. Actually, this one's kind of like kind of like the uh, game movie. Kind of like the game movie. But I do like these little maples. These little maples are excellent. And I don't know how much these brushes are by themselves. I'll link everything individually on their website as well as the Kickstarter page. But I like I like the, I like these uh I like these not, I like these more premium uh, synthetics. Just not on synthetic. I, I like these. These are these are actually uh, at least at least they're nice to have. I don't know if they're gonna paint nicely. You guys, stay tuned to the next episode of. Uh, you gotta stay tuned to the next episode of Dirt Spine Hobbies for that one, which I will be doing it soon. Whenever, whenever I feel good, whenever I want to 
actually paint something. I've been holding off my painting urges, my painting and assembling urges until I got this wet palette. Because I really needed a place to store my freaking, uh, store my brushes. I really needed a place, place really badly to store my brushes, as you can probably tell. But the fact they've been in every single unboxing video for a couple months now. And they had the risk of falling off into the void, but thankfully it was prevented by this, which I still need to unbox. But anyway. Oh, and this will go in there too. Um, but yeah. So next year for my hobbies, one box that, that, and that. But anyway. Anyway, these brushes are actually really, really nice. And they do have, and I do now have a place to store them. And I do now have a place to store my brushes. Uh, in the middle of painting, like that. Uh, on the rinse cup, that's another reason why I got this, because that's just fantastic. Uh, uh, don't shake it, don't shake it. It, 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 it. No, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. And now let's pop it up. Oh, it's so much fun. Hurts the nails, though. And then, more those little things from my monitor. I uh, just some. Okay, I can't hold all my brushes. I can't hold all of them. That's what the wet palette's for. We're going to be unboxing next. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's not... Oh, oh, yeah, that's really not tipping over. That's actually really well designed. You guys thought my brush is over here, except for the... Except for the game movies. I'm going to you right back. It was running out of... was running out of video because it's a camera. It's a photo camera. And you know what if I that's not in order? There is no order to be found here. And now let's unbox the thing, the thing, the thing you might have clicked on the video for. This is the wet palette. And it, it's the glorious. And this is the first set, uh, wet palette I have, I, 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 I'm, I personally have touched. Uh, and this will be the first time of me trying to use a wet palette by, with Tamiya. Uh, paints, which I haven't, which I haven't seen anyone else use. Now, uh, what palettes with the Tamiya paints, but um, yeah, but it is really nice. Uh, as you can see, it is a sealing palette, so it should keep your paints wet for longer. It does have a valve in case you hate mold, which you probably should, especially me with my uh, everything that I have going on. Um, but yeah. That lid feels a little flimsy. Uh, you got some. It, it, it's really thin. It's really, really thin. You can tell that barely. Might as well put it all the all the. Oh, look at that! Look, look at that! I don't know if you can see this. Look up. But look at that. It's actually see-through. That's pretty neat. Well, you can just hang out over here. I don't know where I put you actually. But you are here. And, um, yeah, nothing left to do but open it. Again, everything hurts the, the hand, my sense to, my sense to baby hands. Oh. Ah, thank you for being see-through. Yeah, it does come with a dry palette, I thought. I, I, I didn't know, to be honest. I don't think I need one. I have my, I, my, I have my $3 gel, gel three dollar get like 500 one oh, no, just a little just a little thing you probably don't want to eat and just probably get extra plastic I mean this is a Kickstarter project Kickstarter project have bugs and I'm I, I'm guessing the I'm guessing the full full release version the one they can buy on their store will be similar to this in terms of quality similar to everything in quality because uh, again these aren't expensive you get all this for hundred dollars do you expect these to be expensive um, yeah I mean I, I, I mean dry pilots are not and then there's the seal, which isn't seated correctly. Oh no, it's seated correctly, it just isn't going to play ball. Okay, you probably could have done the seal differently, make it seat better, but oh well. 
Like I have a nine dollar gigantic two liter uh, water container uh, that's fantastic. It's just bigger than because she cannot lift two pounds, uh, and two liters of water is more than two pounds. Um, but uh, it's fantastic and has a much better seal than this. Although the seal has to, the seal has been really hard to put back, but uh, it's not as uh, wonky as this. But it, it, this works. This works. Put it back, and of course you don't need to open it all the way. Okay, maybe you do. Maybe it does come open like that. But anyway, maybe it does come open like that. And actually, I might as well put in the put in the things, and we'll give it and put in the things it needs to function. Oh, that's so satisfying. I know what they were doing. Oh, that, that's so flimsy though. I, I don't like this lid. I, the lid I'm using the most out of this thing because it's going to keep all um, this stuff because I don't have a better place to put it. Oh, that's... Like, like, it wants to be satisfying, but... um, Flappy. It's flappy. I guess just don't flap it and don't try to scratch your... like $40... But, well, tablet or whatever. Oh, yay! More manufacturing debris. Just a uh, wet pallet to go next to your, uh, I mean a dry pallet to go next to your wet pallet. Nothing special. But hey, at least, more debris, uh, but at least you can tell it's freaking, uh, it's freaking injection molded, not 3D printed. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, this might require some cleaning, like my, like my, uh, like my, what the heck, what, what do you call the thing? Um, like my, um. Need some uh, cleaning, like your models, like my tackling box, like my tackle, like my tackle box, which I use to store all my uh, hobby stuff in. Fishing tackle box, of course. Okay, stick me here for right now. Okay, everyone aboard. Finally, I can get this out of here. Oh, this is uh, in, ca in case you in case you can't tell, this is a momentous moment. So get get a nice view. This is a momentous moment. They're not there anymore! Ah, uh, this is so nice. It doesn't hold all my friggin' nonsense, though. Oh, man, it doesn't hold all my... It doesn't hold all my standard stuff. I mean, it's only really meant to hold the stuff that comes to the thing, but anyway, they're not holy. The one I love. The freaking size 3. Is it close? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, just fine. Okay, not not just fine, but fine enough. And as it holds the new stuff, my new stuff, uh, all the new stuff can go in the tackle box. Also, my Tommyas shouldn't be mingling with my not Tommyas. At least I know how to tell the difference now. I mean, that's the issue with going maples; they're giant, freaking gigantic. Yep. Just get on top of the tummy is. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna to need to find the brushes I use the most and I take the rest out. I want I just wanted this for that basically. And try wet palettes and uh because this should be the king of wet palettes with its little thing what's it? Uh, with its little thing what's it with its seal. Uh, especially in my 60 degree room most of the time when my mess computer isn't doing <laughs> and boss everything uh, my desktop with a 3090 isn't doing its thing but um yeah anything else uh I wish there was a magnet you put it there or something but I can just put this where I have my other drive pellets uh, no reason not to on nurse on nurse no, that's not gonna happen that's more useful to me. I think I can just keep this here, keep this somewhere. Um, yes, I know there are cheaper uh, brush cases, but none of them are wet pellets, nor are they. Okay. And by the way, may, may be wondering, I, I don't leave these, I don't leave these uh, arcade mats, which these are from, uh, which these are arcade mats from um, New Wave Toys. They are a mi micro arcade maker. 
and I just love how these look. So yeah. Oh, can you turn? You can do that too. Oh, you can't technically turn this because Turner is gonna do that. So you gotta turn the entire thing. Uh, so you better have a good position on your, uh, how you manipulate like with the big fin. I like this thing. I like this thing. I am getting you know, another one though because the other one has uh, the other one is the other one is more fancy. It has a light. Has a has a light. Has a magnifying glass. I'm going to try that. Link in description of that too. I guess um, that got. That uh, that ended. That ended. Uh, that I still don't have the backer kit for that yet, so give it time. But yeah. And no, we know this is sponsored. In case you couldn't already tell, I did buy this with my own monies. But anyway. Oh, this is the lens cap. Okay, now let's uh, trip it. Don't hit the lens, don't hit the lens, don't hit the lens. Oh, trying it not hit the lens, making it inefficient for me to undo the thing. Yeah, you can't you can't hinge it. I wish you could. Put the tripod in the wet palette like a palette. Oh, that's a slight issue. Um, that was a very slight issue. And then you have this here. Oh, you can also lay your, lay your, uh, uh, lay your freaking, uh, freaking, your freaking, uh, 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 pa uh, not pen, uh, uh, painting tools. Painting tools! Now they're officially called a good channel, but no, um, paint brushes. Or just, you know, brushes. And then you gotta look at the guide. Which you have to download from their website, unfortunately, in order to uh, the guy to their website to for the freaking uh, uh, to see how these function. But it's just a wet palette. It's just I need I need guidance on how to do the demo production. And I think I think I think oh, these are really soft. Good thing I touched them on camera. On camera, um, yeah, these are nice little soft, spongy things. But uh, I think you set up your wet palette this way. And fill with as much water as you like. And um, yeah, oh, oh, I know what that I know what that card is. It isn't just a nicety card. I'm just a nice card because it's nice. No, 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 no. It's actually. Uh, I know what that card's for. It's for it's for stringing out your uh, it's for stringing out your parchment paper, which again, 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 you don't need the you don't need to use their parchment paper. You're kind of buying the exemplar. I mean, to be fair, you're buying the palette because of the parchment paper too. Uh, to be fair, you can use this use this parchment paper and just you can use their parchment paper and just um and just any wet palette of this size. Which is also a pretty good size wet palette. There are bigger ones if you feel your palleting need. If you feel that your palleting palette is uh, not palleting you enough. Uh, so yeah. And then I think you would just uh, untape that and stick it somewhere inside so the mold will attach to it or something. Because it's freaking copper. But um, yeah. I don't know. We got a spare. We got a spare. Freaking! Uh, I don't know if you can see that because of how I lit the, how my set is lit up, how the desk is lit up. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we got a spare. We got a, we got a spare block with the Lego, and I and this disappoints me, and that disappoints me greatly because Lego's not supposed to get spares. It's supposed to be perfect. You don't need spares. But yeah, that's how you do that, and then you just stick the and then you just stick the copper thing to the bottom. I think. I'm not gonna act. I'm gonna do it on camera. Uh, if when I start using the wet palette, I'm testing. Te I'm gonna start testing it. Then I might use it. See if I'm a wet palleter or a dry palleter. And to be fair, this dry palette actually is pretty nice because it will. Because it, it will. Uh, I think these are meant for washes, for liquidy stuff, and these are your paints, of course. And these are your brushes. 
Uh, come to me, come to me. Bam. Because I'm running out of space. I'm always running out of space in this setup. That's the theme. I'm trying to expand to another setup, but uh, that going because I got stuff on it. Oh, whoops. There, press the button. Because I have stuff on it. This is where I'm planning to do my. This is where I'm planning to do all my stuff on another, on another, on a, an, on an old, old, old. I never really used it because I don't like it. I don't like it to have my entertainment stuff on it. But an entertainment center. I'm gonna. I want it to. I wanted to use it for um, the stuff. But yeah, that's how that works. That's how that works. I can use this also as a rinse cup in case you don't have the boss one, boss daddy. I can. This is really nice. I really like this. It's actually really nice. Just put tack on it. Don't care if you mark up these cups, but uh, or these caps. But um, yeah, these are just really nice. Also, I noticed they can't put my uh, tweezers in there, unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, but they can go in my they can go in my tackle box, which I might need to get another tackle box to be honest. Okay, let's wrap things up. Uh, what do I think of do I, what do I think of this? No one serious. Oh, be careful. Be careful. The extras. Which, by the way, uh, you, which by using my pointing device, uh, which by the way, if you have, mul if you have, even if you had just one of these, you might get multiple caps if you're building an army. So you just twist it off, put a new one on, or twist, twist it off, put, uh, twist it off, and put a new one on uh, when painting an assembly, in, assembly, in, in assembly, in, in, in an assembly line. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I hope you didn't mind the air conditioning on the background because it's hot, or. Uh, it's like 70 degrees, which is hot for me. There we go. Show the logo as my one of my favorite food tubers says, or food revert food reviewers say. It's K KPD Productions, by the way. And uh, let's wrap things up. As I up, oh, you might want to get rid of that. You might want to clean that up immediately because that's going to be touching a brush of brush bristles. But yeah. Okay, that's too much out of the way. You can go over here. Like this. We do it in an ap appealing fashion. Can we need a latch on or something? Nope. Okay, latch on that. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, it died. <laughs> That's fine, I don't need it. Uh, I know I know where it is, I guess I do need it. I don't like if you. I, I guess because these break easily or something? I don't know what. Okay, mm, mm, they won't break any easier than your model. <laughs> it's more sturdy than your models are. Um, but anyway. But if uh, uh, anything that can die uh, in my videos, uh, that's fine. It can go. It can go live down there for right now. I don't need it. But anyway, okay, that's a terrible shot. You know what I'm gonna do? Hand cam. Oh, oh actually. Not the logo to be all pretty. Actually, I want you to be able to see uh, the logo on the logo on the uh, brush. But anyway, that'll be our first video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. Please watch me, watch me, watch me. Check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as the various Facebook sports channel, of course, Facebook sports channels for watching these videos, engage content reviews, and by sharing your friends, family, stuff. Yeah. All right, is it worth it? Yes, everything here is worth it. Um, of course, some things are worth it. Are worth more to some people. Like this is just worth generally. I think this is the, this is by far the most awesome thing on on uh, on this screen. But um, yeah, is the wet palette worth it? I don't. Well, from, I'm bought. You you do know that whenever I say something's worth it or not, it's because of the experience I've had up until the point I say it. I really should make this clear somewhere, probably in the description of videos. I probably should do that or make this video go into go into YouTube uh, default description editor and put in like the top line of the uh, of the generic of the description that's on all my videos. Uh, when I say it's worth it, it's because my experience I had so far with it 
uh, this is not a review because none of my videos are reviews really. Because I don't do them because I, I feel like I don't have enough experience with them to, um, with the things I would, with the things I give opinions on and people always ask anyway. People would ask regardless, so yeah, that's why. But anyway, yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with everything here. It has some quality of production issues. But to be fair, the price you're paying for the quality of thing you're getting um, is fine. And all of it's just a little bit of cleaning, and you could just see some, uh, some, uh, some of the, uh, some of how the plastic structure, the plastics structure. So it's just fine. Uh, the extra stuff you got for from the campaign, like this, like this uh, uh, parchment paper uh, straightener, uh, is great. It's also good for decals. Uh, also good for straightening out decals and whatnot. Uh, uh, it's just it's really nice. I'm glad they include it. I hope I hope, I hope they sell it on their website one day, um, like the pens. But anyway, oh, all right, that'd be it for today. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. Please watch me. Well, I already said that, and um, yeah, everything is uh, definitely worth it. And uh, can you see the logo? I to get my hand in the way. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Leave it alone. This is the final shot. Oh, all right, that'd be it for some other things watching, and I guess, see you in a second, wait, and I guess, see you in a second.